So since the release of ChatGPT3, the entire working world has been flipped on its head. And whether you're against it or whether you're for it, the question you should be asking yourself is how can you leverage this technology and not even just chat GPT-3, but AI technology and all the softwares, tools, tips and tricks. How can you leverage that before the rest of the world figures out what it really is all about? And how can you make money off of these different tools? Today, I'm going to show you real proof of what I've done since last October that has generated me nearly $125,000 completely using AI writing. It's so simple. It would take me about 30 minutes per day. Just a quick way to generate extra cash for myself and for my business and to learn how this technology works. I'm going to show you exactly step by step what I did and what you can be doing still to earn an extra $300 per day in a matter of seconds using this technology. Let's dive into it. Okay, first things first, I want to show you proof that I actually did do this. Um, as you can see, I've completed 664 jobs. This is in my account here. Um, Anyways, scrolling through, accepted. This is for $178, that's US, I'm Canadian, therefore it's about $220. Accepted yesterday as well, accepted yesterday as well. Accepted yesterday, 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 <laughs> yesterday, yesterday. So that alone is a, over $1,000 just yesterday that has been completed and accepted. All right, there's a couple of jobs that are on, on customer review at the moment, but there you go, that was just yesterday. And now I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about, what the software is. Okay, so the platform that I was using is called Scripted. There's plenty out there. Um, what they are essentially, it's hubs where companies will go and they want blogs, they want content written for their websites. So Scripted will find them, put them on their platform and they'll post job offers that you can then go in, once you're a writer on the platform, accept the job for whatever amount of money it is and you can start writing those jobs. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when there is a job that you get to choose from. You'll know information about the job, you'll know the price of the job, and then you'll be able to accept it if you want. To get started, you sign up, you have to apply. It's pretty difficult to get accepted on. I think they accept 1% of people, but with the AI writing, you can create really high quality articles that you can submit. Um, the key is just once you get on, you have to start on the lowest package and you slowly scale up until they trust you, they know you can deliver high quality work, and then you get endless jobs, and you can hammer them out using the AI writing, and that's exactly what I've been doing for the last, I think, 14, 15 months here, and that's just in the morning on top of my actual business, my actual job, so. Okay, so now for the important stuff that most YouTube videos don't actually show you, the how. So yes, it's great, people know AI writing exists and people can make money on it, but how do they actually do it? So I'm gonna show you everything that I've done inside just this one company here. And there's plenty of these writing platforms out there. You can be on many at a time if you want. As you can see, there's currently 19 writing invitations that I have available, but, but I had a big day yesterday writing articles, so I don't need any more right now. Let's take a look. So these are my completed ones. I'm gonna scroll down. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is an example of what an article looks like. This one that was already accepted by the customer. So how it works is the company will give a description of what they want you to write and then you have to go follow the instructions and write it out and they will pay you the $164 for 1,500 words. So that is US again, so it's about $200 for 1,500 words. Again, I don't know anything about this topic. So modernizing API development with code automation, I know literally nothing about that. I know what APIs are and I know what code is, but I don't know anything about developing it. However, fortunately, the chat GPT-3 does, and I use a software called Jasper. So I'm gonna take you inside. All right, and when you're in here, just create a new document. I just do start from scratch, and boom, we are inside. So what I always do, I will copy the title and bring it over to Jasper, and I will say, I want to write an article about modernizing it with code automation. Perfect, there we go. So I will paste the title up top, push enter, perfect. So, and then what you have to do with these softwares is you have to lead it on and then it will hammer out the rest for you. And the more you put it at the top, it works on patterns, it understands uh, what you're trying to talk about. If you have really strong top, part then the rest of it will be really really powerful so i'm gonna start by let's just see what happens let's just let the 
Okay, as the demand for faster, more efficient API development increases, modernizing your existing uh, practices with code automation is becoming crucial. Automation only saves time and money, but also allows you to focus on capabilities. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to let it run. Let's see what happens. I'm pushing Control J. That is the command to use the software. The other thing I want to note is, um, again, it works on patterns. So if I have a short first paragraph, the second paragraph will be short as well, and the third paragraph. So this is the article it just kind of punched out in a matter of seconds, but I need it to be 1500 words. So what I will usually do is go and find an article with the same title, and I will take the headlines from each, put it into the Jasper software, and let it write about each of these topics. Um, this is just a way to streamline it, and then at the end I will reword the headline so there's no plagiarism involved at all. So how can you automate data exchange and integration uses? Okay, so we'll do automate data entry. So stream. So automate data entry. I'm also going to go a little custom because I understand it. So um, data entry is one of the most important We're gonna leave it at that and see what uh, the AI software will, will say. So, but time consuming tasks in API development with code automation, data can be entered quickly and accurately without sacrificing accuracy or quality. So there we go. Um, I think you get the point. <laughs> you can use this software, just go through and continually um, add on, add new paragraphs, go find different data points. And that is the gist of it. So the next part, is you have to edit it. So what we do is we go to something called Grammarly, and this will do all the grammatical changes for me. I'll click New, enter it in, and it will say over here all the changes, and you just go through, and the software will make all the edits for you. It's amazing and saves so much time. And this also just increases the quality of it, especially when working for big companies who are very tactical and <laughs> Um, yeah, this matters. So you just go through this, make all the changes, boom, copy it back over, paste it in here. And then what you do is submit it. So once you meet all the requirements, it'll say the job details. If you have to include, if you have to include any external links or anything, it will say that there. Um, but the next part you go to review and edit and you would just paste in the job right there and then you would submit it. So this was completely written using the AI software. So this shows how in depth you can actually make it. Um, I do also wanna show that after this, it will go to the editors who will then edit it and then send it to the customer for approval. So it usually takes about two weeks to have a job fully approved and then that money will get directly deposited into your Stripe account. So the issue is they now have a way of detecting AI writing which they do not allow. So I'm sure this will show up as fully um, no, actually not too bad. Okay. Anyways, when you usually use something like Jasper, um, it will detect it as AI writing. So you just want to make sure you put it in this output detector. And if it is showing as plagiarism, or sorry, not plagiarism, because it's not plagiarized, by the way, and that I can prove with this. So plagiarism, this is for everyone who says it's not ethical. Well, it's new original content, and that is what matters good new content that helps businesses get customers. So 6% matches, but it's very common sentences. So it's not actually plagiarism here. So always check to make sure it's not. But anyways, you can just change a couple words because the way that the AI works is it has a list of words essentially that it will predict the next word in the sequence. So AI knows how AI writes. Therefore, it can kind of tell based on the structure of each sentence if it's AI written. So you can just change around some of the words um, and play around in here and you'll see this will slowly go to zero. So once it's fully made, just change out some of the words, swap some of the sentences around and you'll be good to go. But make sure you use something like GPT-2 output detector. Um, that's basically it. Super simple way to earn a couple hundred dollars per day. You can do it on the side, whether you're working a full-time job or whether you have a business or you're just looking for extra cash, 
really good way is to start AI writing. I know it's gonna be a lot more competitive now that GPT-3 is out there, but there's still an opportunity to get on these platforms. So I would suggest doing it while you have the chance. Um, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos on how you actually can make money using AI and not just overview, but the actual ways that you can apply it to your life and earn income off that. So if you like this content, please like, subscribe. There'll be a ton more videos. We've made a killing over the last year and there's so many different strategies I'm excited to share with you guys. Thanks so much. See you next time.